guess what? That thing on the ground that I thought was a raptor, well, guess what? It was a bite apple. Yeah, there was a bite apple on <laughs> the grass. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, gotta go. Hello and welcome to my Osprey watching videos. Um, that's Sue and Lou that's in the nest right there. So you can see the female is kind of doing some things and the male is right there. Wow, that's nice. Yes, they're doing great over there. Yeah, not really much to say. One's just standing there and w the other is organizing. What's going on? What's going on right here? Is this crow up to no good? This crow and this blackbird are both up to no good. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be chirping to that crow. Yeah, just like that. Just like a blackbird does. Oh wow, that crow rowls his feathers. Okay. Alright, well, here I go. Alright, so looking at these three birds now. So now there's a mockingbird and oh, all three of them fly away. Oh, they all have their territory dispute elsewhere. Isn't that something? What's this I see? Fearless Tom is hunting in the lake. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Tom is right there. Perfect. Okay, so... He never seems to like it when I zoom in like that for some reason. As you can see, this male has orange eyes, so you can tell this is Tom. I mean, his eyes aren't completely orange, but they're orange enough that you know this is Tom. Mm, and I can't seem to get a good focus on Tom, so I'm going to have to get just a little bit closer to him, if he doesn't mind. Alright, so we should be good right here, I hope. Okay, and so the biggest problem with this is that there is like a tree-like thing that's that's in front of the osprey. And that could be messing up the focus a little bit. Yeah, focus isn't good because the plant behind him is coming in view, but the osprey isn't. So you know what I have to do now, right? Yeah, I have to get closer. I'm just afraid to, because I'm afraid to, because this osprey could fly off any minute. Oh, there's Tom. There we go, there's Tom. Okay. And I just gotta scooch this up just a little bit more. And he's got a crop drop, crop drop. So does anybody know what a crop drop is? Basically that's when a hawk or another raptor um, swallows the food completely. So technically it's not completely swallowed until it's at the throat, okay? Birds have a very complex digestive system which involves um, getting the food from the throat to the stomach. And that's basically what this osprey is doing. I'm having difficulty with this camera. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess that's it. I guess that's as good as I'm going to get it. Now we're good, okay. It's 
So this sidewalk's a good spot to film this osprey at, I think. I just can't seem to get it at the perfect spot. I know nothing's ever perfect, but I always try my best. So now the osprey's in focus. And I'm literally turning away from the osprey, that way I'm not like looking directly at the osprey. Oh, so by the way, um, about skill stock. Might as well t talk about skill stock because haven't talked about them in a while. Um, they went up, but they then they went down slightly, and then they kind of went back up a little bit. Oh, well, what's going on? He's what's he doing? What you looking down at, us? What you looking at, Tom? Tom? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Tom was just putting his foot down and up again. The focus is terrible on this camera. I wish I didn't have these types of problems with this with this camera. And I think Tom's going to fly off very soon. I have a feeling that he is. Well, at least I get to film him. I'm thinking of what I should do here cuz I he likes, he really likes that spot. And I'm just trying to think here because I can probably find a slightly better angle to film him at. And by the way, there are a bunch of gnats flying above me. So I might end up going to the other park to film the other osprey. Yeah, Tom's doing cool. He's, he's doing great right now. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not talking inside the camera. I'm talking away from the camera. And Tom was looking at me. Okay. <sighs> I do want to get underneath Tom. Just wait quick. At least I want to anyways. I don't know if he'll let me. That's the only problem. I mean, I feel like I've done it before, but I don't know. I just want to get another angle of Tom. I want to get another angle of him. That would be great. Well, yeah, there's mosquitoes biting. I'm not liking this. And I left my mosquito spray in my laptop carrying case, so that means I'm going to have to stop the recording in a second. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the recording because I'm not going to go all the way to the car and all the way back again just to film Tom, and I don't even know how long he's going to stay here. And there's gnats, like, literally right above me, and they're just going to come lower and lower until they come right at my head. All right, so I am going to stop the recording right now, okay? All right, nighty night, Tom. All right, I'm leaving. Okay, so I finally arrived at nest number two, and you can see the male. Or is that the female or male? I think that's the female. I did see the male and female in the nest before, but now it's just her. And if I try to film from anywhere else, like under the nest, it's not going to be possible for me to see her. This is why it's always better to have a straight-on angle of the nest when they're inside the nest because any other spot is just not going to work. Oh, and by the way, let's take a look at nest number one way quick because I can see nest number one from this spot right here. Anything? Oh, wow, look at that. It's... What's she doing standing right there? Yeah, so there's Mary. Mary's at nest number one. She's hiding. Why is she doing that? Well, she's hiding because... because those other Osprey are so territorial. 
Like, she's so afraid. She's too afraid to even, like, show herself in the nest. I don't know what's wrong with you, Osprey. Are you Mary? Is that who you are? Okay. Yeah, so there she is. I mean, I wanted a better, a better video than just this, you know? But as someone said, you either have the footage or you don't. If the Osprey flies away, then that's it. There's no more footage after that. Is this really Mary or is this or is this Victor? I think this is Mary. It's got to be. It's got to be Mary cuz she's making calls. She was making some peeps at me. Those are some nice territorial calls you're making. You're doing a, an amazing job. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still a little stumped on if this is Mary or not. But she doesn't want me to get any closer, so I'm just gonna go. Actually, I do want to get just a little bit closer, actually. Will you let me? Uh, she's, she's looking at me a whole awful lot, man. Like, she's really looking at me a lot. It's like, go away. I don't want to see you anymore. Really? Is that what you think, Mary? If that's who you are. So she is molting her feathers, so that's a sign that, you know, she acts, she's going to act aggressive because that's what happens when they molt. They go through these phases in a way, yeah. So she's not like quite like on the outskirts of the nest, but I, I, I really don't think this is Mary. I think this is the female from nest number three. I think those two osprey have left. Yeah, I don't know what happened to her. I really don't. I thought, I thought maybe for a second that she would already be at the nest, but I guess not. So, so far we know that the female from nest number two has already incubated her eggs because she's been laying in the nest for the longest time now. But so far I haven't seen anything from nest number two and nest number one. Tell you the truth, I don't think anything's going to after all these territorial conflicts going on. I don't think either of them are going to have any babies. All right, let me see if she gets lets me get a little closer. Is that okay? Can I get a little closer to you? Oh, she, she keeps looking at me. What the heck? I can't. I... All right, that's it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you alone. Okay. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna leave you alone. I say good night by getting closer to you. Okay. This is good enough. It's good. Alright, now it seems like these mosquitoes are like getting bad now. Alright, so now you can see her. By the way, that nest is very uncapped. Like there's just sticks like hanging loose from the nest. Those osprey are never going to maintain it. Because they're never coming back. Uh, such a major disappointment. What's going on? What is she looking at? What is she looking at? Oh man, wow. It's real dark on this view right here. Yeah, it gets real light when I zoom out, but that's only because the zoom capabilities are very, very limited when you zoom in very far. I mean, I can't imagine I would get much any closer than this anyways, because that osprey's pretty high up there, and uh, although they're usually pretty high up even on those other lights too. So I don't know if it's really worth it to 
really getting any closer. I don't know. But she's good. I'll just let her roost there. Alright. Nah. Let's get a little bit closer. I'm going to get closer to you, Osprey. And this time, I'm going to be doing this real carefully. Hey, I'm just having a conversation with you, Osprey. This is your nest, right? Unless you're the female from nest number three. I mean, you already know I'm trying to get closer to you. You already know that. Cheep, 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 cheep. Still no sounds, huh? Alright, I'm stopping the recording.